So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. The national anthem of Argentina rings out. They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem, now to match it. There are plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. the whistle so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture for me it has to be the magical Angel Di Maria what I like uh, about him is how he's tailored his game to play in different positions whether it be central midfield attacking midfield or, or as a winger and, you know he can adapt to whatever's required okay interesting Di Maria drives it towards the front. Lovely bit of skill. There are a few waiting for it. He's gone for it. A great save, real class. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Forward it goes. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say. Both must have come in with a view of, of not making any early mistakes. So, we're seeing some conservatism here. Keepers ball. Zielinski. Lovely 
feet. He'll hit it! Well, that's confidence for you. Distance doesn't even bother him. Jabutha looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Talia Fico. Martinez. In it comes. And he's cut it out. Krakowiak. Poland still to register a shot on target. Tries to get it forward quickly. And he's made sure that that won't get through. He's a clever pass. Paul has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Paredes drives it forward. It's Di Maria. Chance to pass a pop! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Messi certainly could have and should have made more of that. Milik, Zielinski, Balls loose, who's getting there? Gomez, Martinez, played in with accuracy, it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Bednarek. He's thrust his way through. And that has been cleared. Hoists it forward. Talia Fico. Talia Fico sends it forward. Lovely bit of skill there. Kukovia tries to clear. Zielinski. Now the counter. Lewandowski is fouled. Crosses it in. It's always going to be the keepers. First half is done, so the other team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. So first half thoughts. It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. We're already back on the way here. So, deadlock still as the second half begins. A real chance to break. Nicely controlled. Jakowiak. Loose. Messi. Di Maria cuts it out. And 
here's Lewandowski. Zielinski. Krakowiak has a hit! That's a cracking strike, and it may have stolen the palms of the keeper. And it's played forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Right now, what's on? Martinez. Taliafico. 60 minutes played. Not long left. And Messi! Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. Kukoviak. Well positioned to make that interception. Taliafico goes looking. Gomez goes long. Cleared away. And now they can launch a counter. Milik. Krikoviak. Oh, that's nice. Looks to set one up. Knocks it away. In again. Zielinski gets wrestled off the ball. Di Maria. Beautifully done. Well stitch defending, but that'll do. And it's Paredes. Paredes. Zielinski gets it back. Argentina merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. And the finish! The ball really used his body to clever effect in dropping the shoulder to carry on. Argentina are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Bednarek. Camille Glick. They've seen lots of the ball. Trying to go for it a bit, a bit of creativity and adventure. Do they stick or twist? Caution or risk? Now, what will they rue more? I think it'd be a cautious mindset they'd regret more for me, so I'd like to see them try and go and win this. Plenty waiting in the middle. Just deflected over the goal line for a corner. Di Maria plays it short. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Real chance! Oh, that probably deserved better. Argentina can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Di Maria. Di Maria. Di Maria. Crossed it massively! And the whistle goes, so nearly a telling finale, but it ends nil-nil. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, a decent draw, Peter, with a good mix of action and plenty of talking points. 
and it ended with the right result, in my opinion. So before we go, many thanks to Jim Beglin for his inputs, and from us both, good afternoon.